gods, kings, queens, man. It's All right, there, young brother. Guys, kings, queens, man. It's B. Collins, man. I'm checking in with y'all, man. And today, man, I want to talk about something that I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't say this, you know. And I remember, I remember having a conversation with my boy, Big Frank, man. Frank, what's up, bro? Late year, that's my day one. And I remember having a conversation with him, and basically. I was telling him, you know, like, we should have this figured out, and he should have this figured out, Frank, what you want to do, what I'm going to do, and what, he was basically just saying, like, we got to stop comparing ourselves, that's what he said, he said, we got to stop comparing ourselves to other people, bro, like, let them live their life and get their blessings when they get their blessings, and we're going to live our life, and we're going to get our blessings when we get our blessings, and that's so true, because I found myself unknowingly doing that, you know? So that's what, that's what the message of this video is. Like, just because you see somebody your age doing something positive and getting a blessing, don't make that, don't make that, don't make that, you know, you shouldn't feel less about yourself because of that. Because everybody get their blessings at different times. Oh, they graduating in May. You, you, that, make you, that shouldn't make you feel less of yourself because you're not graduating in May. In 2016, if you graduate in 2017, that's fine. If you graduate in 2018, that's fine. 19, that's fine. Because you know what? College is a marathon. It is not a sprint. You hear me? There are so many, there are so many ways to get set back in college. If you graduate in four years, that's a blessing. That's a big blessing. Because that means you went, that means you was taking 15 plus hours. That means you was going to summer school. I mean, you probably wasn't failing classes, but if you were failing classes, you was making them up quickly. Like, and that stuff costs money. Like, the people who, only people who graduated in four years are people who was putting in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work. And who had a lot of financial support. Financial support that not everybody has. So that don't, seeing somebody graduate, you know, a couple years before you or a year before you, that, don't, that shouldn't make you feel any less of yourself. Because everybody get their blessings at different times. And just graduating college, period, that says a lot, you know? The fact that you've stuck it out, even if it took you five, six years, you stuck it out. That says a lot about you. That says a lot about you, you know what I'm saying? Another thing is, oh, you see somebody your age and they got a nice high-paying job. Like, bro, it don't matter, bro, because you know what? We all young. All right, and the opportunity is gonna come. If you living your life right, the opportunities are gonna come. If you're doing what you know you need to be doing, the opportunities are gonna come. You see people living, you see people your age living a certain life on Instagram and you know them, think, just think. Their life ain't as glamorous as they would like you to believe, bro. If, if it feels that glamorous, they'd be on TV, people would be following them, following them with cameras. Their life ain't like, stop being misled by people, bro. And stop thinking that somebody is better than you or somebody is living their life better than you because it's not the case. Everybody just get blessings at different times. Basically, bro, just stop stressing, man. Everything gonna be all right, bro. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, everything gonna be all right. Because a wise quote that I heard, man, that I always tell people, the easiest way to ruin your 20s is to sit and think that you should have it all figured out by now. The easiest way to ruin your 20s is to be sitting and thinking that you should have everything figured out by now because it doesn't happen that fast for everybody. Blessings don't happen that fast for everybody. And I know for me especially, and it's probably, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more people like me. I know it's a lot more people like me because I actually had a conversation with a young lady via Twitter about this very topic. But a lot of times, and it, I'm pretty sure it happens mainly in our 20s, but a lot of times we get stuck. We don't know what we want to do with our life, right? And at a young age, we get the feeling like we're too old to not have it figured out, but we're also too young to have everything about life figured out. You know what I mean? You're too old, if you feel like you're too old to not have a, a five-year plan or a 10-year plan, but at the same time, 
you're too young to really have all that figured out. So we stuck in the middle and we at war with ourselves, bro. And we don't really be knowing what we want to do. Props to everybody who go to college and know what they want to do in college and stuff like that. But a lot of times people just know what kind of degree they want. They know what kind of degree they want. They know what kind of field they want to be in, but they don't necessarily know the actual profession that they want to have. And that's, and that's the jam that everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people are in. So as a young lady on Twitter, she was talking about how like, she don't know what she wants to do her degree. She know, wanna, she know what kind of degree she wanted, but she didn't know what she wanted to do with it. And so I told her, it's probably like hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people in that same, same predicament. I'm in that predicament. I don't know what kind of profession I want to have. All I know is, well, I ain't gonna say I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of profession I want to have. I know what I, I know I want to own. I know what I want to own, but I know, you know, that I'm still young, and I know blessings can come slowly, you know. And one thing I do know, you can find a profession in anything, right? Anything. Find something you like to do and just go with it. All I know is I like to create. Whether it be some designs on some clothes, whether it be these videos I make, I like to create. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create. And in the process of doing that, I will be creating more than just videos, you know? And that's where, and that's where you got to start off, bro. Just find something you like to do and just run with that. Just see where it take you, bro, because you don't never know what's going to happen. So if you a little lost right now, bro, it's okay. If you don't know what you want to do right now, it's okay. It's hundreds and thousands, millions of people who are in the same exact boat as you. It's okay. You know, if somebody got something more than you, it's okay. They got, we got to stop defining, we got to stop defining success as our material possessions because that's not what success is. Success has everything to do with happiness. If you got all this stuff in the world that the world can offer you, but you're not happy, you don't feel loved, you're not successful. How is that successful and you don't feel like nobody loves you? How, is, how are you successful and you're not happy and you're miserable every day? How is that success? Because you got some cars and you got some money, you're successful just because of that, but you're not happy with life? You hate your life? And you think money can change that? No. No. Money, people always want to say money fix things and it does, but Money don't bring true happiness, bro. Only love can do that. I'd rather have love before I have money any day. Because one thing about it, love from the right woman or from the right person, that's going to lead you to money. Me as an example, if, if I'm dealing with a woman, oh, I love this woman. This woman love me for me. I'm going to do everything I can to provide for her. I'm going to go get, get whatever kind of money it takes to provide for her. Whatever she need, I got it. Because she loved me for me, she deserved it. She might not even want what I'm going to do for her. But I'm going to do it for her anyway because she deserved it. Love led me to want to do that for her. Because at the end of the day, money don't create love, bro. Money does not create love. But love can create money. And it's crazy because I be looking at these millionaires, right? These celebrities. And I be wondering, I be like, how do they know that people really love them and not just with them? for what they can do for them. How do you know that they love you or whether or not they just with you as a business decision? I guess that's why celebrities always get another millionaire. Like celebrities date celebrities so they know that that celebrity ain't in them for them. But I don't know, bro. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't even know. Like if I was filthy rich, how would I even know if that woman loved me for me or wasn't just stringing me along because she know what I can do for her? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy to think about. I'm gonna just leave this message to everybody out here, man. To the young people specifically, bro. Stop worrying, bro. We're gonna be all right, bro. We're gonna be all right, bro. Just keep your head straight. Be focused, man. And just, and just, and just keep that ambition, bro. If you got ambition, that's all you need. Because all your blessings gonna come with that. You keep, stay prayed up, man. Stay prayed up and keep that faith because faith without works is dead. Put in that work and we're going to be all right. And I just want to leave y'all with that, man. Gods, kings, queens, man. Always remember to hug somebody and love somebody, man. Best in peace to all the young people, bro, who never got a chance to grow up, bro. 
never got a chance to grow up. Y'all stay up, bro, for real. Stay on y'all toes out here. It's crazy, man. Be safe. Peace, man.